Welcome to Studio Z. You see our uh, beautiful uh, Studio Z awning. This is the main entrance. Uh, and when we have receptions, very proud to have the Armenian flag, the red, blue, and orange. And this is the gallery night flag that we always use for gallery night that comes every third Thursday of the month. On the right here is our art mobile. His name is Moby. He's an art mobile designated to uh, bring art to public schools, public art. It's a project we did about three, four years ago. Today we're going to enter actually through the garage door where uh, garage doors that uh, we incorporated, you see up top, a decoupage of 146 exhibits. We're up to our, our 163rd exhibit, uh, and this is the decoupage of the past exhibit postcards. We, we've printed close to a million postcards. This is our eighth exhibit of the year, of 2015. It's a solo exhibit of our dear friend, artist, curator for the gallery, Julian Penrose who's actually working on his work. We're preparing for the opening next Thursday, uh, this coming Thursday, the 20th uh, gallery night opening. This particular room is our exhibition room. Uh, took a lot to prepare. Uh, we have an art hanging system on two layers and uh, track lighting, uh, sound system. We have digital projection system up here. So we're acid wash floors maintenance free uh, and then we're now going to be entering our smaller room which is called a collection room the collection room is a representation of the artists from the stable of the gallery we re represent close to 380 artists about 27 artists non-living so this room is artists from local we represent about 41 artists locally regionally and nationally and of course internationally a uh, big collection of the niche of the gallery is Armenian art. This particular wall is all Armenian artists, very established artists. Then we have um, our small little foyer area, our service entrance here, and all the facility to make sure everything is organized. Um, complicated space because we have the mighty Wanspataket Providence River. Uh, we have everything off the ground, if you notice, eight inches off the ground, pressure treated, uh, special sheet rock for thermal barrier uh, for the flood and also for water coming through flood zone. And again, track lighting, uh, our little office area. We can come through this way. Um, this is our workstation. Again, our little office area right here and uh, my assistant Melissa uh, from Gallery Z up the street. And this is our little kitchenette and workspace our, of library, all our art books. Again, a kitchen area. 60% uh, of the art out of here. We've already uh, moved art around because we've been asked to relocate and move out of this mill because they're going to be tearing down this mill, unfortunately. So this is Studio Z in the Butcher Block Mill. If you uh, look around here, all original art, everything is organized, categorized, inventorized, photographed, labeled, and numerized too. And uh, you can come through here, our flat file system for artists and uh, very organized system, all uh, with our system of Spinsoft software and finally our pride and joy when we have performances this is a multiple facet space we have little bins here for storage of bronze sculptures smaller pieces of art and this entire large collection of art of all Armenian art over 600 pieces of original Armenian art and when I say pride and joy you're able to uh, look down and see our beautiful space. And then this is another small egress. Uh, this is the garage door, as I mentioned. You gotta watch our head, that's a little egress for our exit. And this whole structure was empty. You will see photographs of spaces empty of three walls of cinder block. So we developed this space, uh, consultants were Wilbur, Wilbur Yoder Engineering, an architect. Uh, Wilbur himself taught at RISD for 52 years. 
And then Waylon Tucker, consultant for construction. Ramsey Lokov, ex-building inspector, um, chief of inspections as a consultant and few others. Um, then we come back and the last track of this, another set of pride of joy beside our little kitchenette is the little kitchen cabinets up here. And this is our main storage area. Uh, this came out of all constructing special spaces. We went heavy on our lumber, so we support system structural and also use every inch of storage space, um, including, of course, creating a system of cycle that people can access the other space through this other door. Uh, you see these chairs. In about eight minutes, we can convert the space into educational academic space. Some elements of the genocide here. Uh, this is uh, from our heavy genocide exhibition. Some of the monitors and closing the door. And here we are, uh, Studio Z at the Butcher Block Mill, 25 Eagle Street is forced to move out in about a month and a half and they're going to bulldoze this whole building away unfortunately thank you